what's up guys this is Ronnie. welcome back to tutorial 8 so guys in this tutorial i'll be going to show you guys how to uh, convert csv file into json file so the use case is very simple so we'll be going to uh, take input as uh, csv file and after that we'll develop or write some sort of python code so that the csv file will be converted as a json file so let's move on to the next slide so if you see we have one csv file and we'd like to convert the csv file into uh, json file so this is a very simple use case and use case but this is one of the most common and everyday like used you uh, every everyday uh, like um, like I actually use this use case very often whenever there is some requirement of or data gathering or something like that and mostly most of the developers or support guys are also having the same sort of problem or uh, requirement and I also got this thing from your you guys survey the mail which you guys sent me for the use case so this is also very important that uh, most of you actually requested for this tutorial so uh, we have a CSV file so let me show you guys the CSV file first so this is our csv uh, sorry this is not csv file i actually open a pdf file so this is our csv file okay so this if you see this is actually three column csv file id name and longitude and we would like to convert this into json file so json will be like this so nice formatted indent uh, indentation is there so we'd like to develop this thing purely in python okay the piece of code so this is very simple use case not much to discuss so let let me start writing the code so first thing we need for this definitely io okay and one more library we need that is actually data scientist favorite library import pandas as pd so next thing we'll write the uh, file with io dot uh, open and after that we'll write uh, station list dot csv okay and after that we'll open it into read uh, mode and once this is done we'll write encoding equals to utf-8 and once this is done we'll write f1 and after that f1 equals to uh, f1.read actually okay and once this line is completed we can easily close the file like this and let's print this thing now we'll see what is actually getting printed there okay so like this way so guys you can you guys can do this thing uh, like this way uh, using normal thing and after that iterating use iterating um, like loop wise which i actually discussed this thing but guys i'm not going to uh, show you guys the normal uh, csp way so rather i'll be using python uh, pandas library so for that let me create a data frame uh, object so it will be pd dot read csv and after that i will write uh, station list dot csv okay and let's print this thing now we'll see what it is actually going to print so fine everything gets printed and now we'll write uh, we'll create one uh, data frame uh, dictionary object so it will be df dot uh, to dict okay and orientation will be index okay okay fine so let's do this thing it's done so let's now print this thing we'll see how actually our dictionary looks now see our dictionary got created now you have to write this thing now okay so for writing this thing with io dot open okay and we'll create a file json oh, okay so you can write output dot json okay and we'll write this in write mode and we'll be encoding equals to 8 and after that we'll write f2 like this then we'll write f2 dot write the normal operation but here we need to do something else so for that we need to import json modules okay and we need to convert this uh, object into if you see json dot dumps okay and we'll pass this dc the dictionary object okay like this and let's see this thing now how it looks okay 
okay let's do this thing it's created refresh see i got a file output.json so let's open this thing so it is actually opening in visual studio code so see it got opened but if you see you can't uh, like you, you cannot understand this thing actually like this is one element you can easily understand but it doesn't look good right so what will what is going to happen now so you can put something like indent equals to 4 okay so now let's write this thing again and let me remove this thing actually delete okay so it's terminated let me refresh this thing output.json now let me open this thing again boom so see it looks nice now why i put indent so indent means one tab so everything is like that from here one tab so now it looks okay right so it's very simple guys but but there is another way normal python way of doing this thing so you can iterate through every element of uh, csv thing so you can you can follow my earlier tutorial there actually i have seen you guys how to iterate through uh, csv files so in the same series you can uh, follow along with the tutorial and one and two so there i have de discussed in detail how to how to parse csv and other things okay so that's it guys this is actually very small and precise tutorial but this is very handy if you see i have just written uh, maybe not even 10 lines of code maybe eight lines of code i can actually uh, convert gsn csv file into json right so see this is very utility uh, this is kind of a utility tool for you whenever you are going to work in some sort of project and definitely want to use this uh, sort of automation again and again in your project to like reduce some sort of bandwidth or some time crunch or whatever like definitely it will give you some sort of advance advantage okay so that's it guys we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and don't forget to uh, put some comments and send me your feedbacks how you are enjoying this series whether at all it is going to give you some sort of benefit or you don't think that this is not making any sense for your uh, like um, the uh, not making any sense for you like the objective of this tutorial is that you guys should be benefited whether you guys are working somewhere or going to be uh, like prepare for some interview or you guys are already student want to learn and develop uh, your skill set so that you can land up to your, uh, some sort of freelancing job please write me some sort of feedback or if you want to add me some sort of other use case you can also feel free to do i will try to uh, like include all those things and, and and whenever in doubt or need any clarification please feel free to write me i'll try to solve all your queries on timely basis okay so that's it we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day